Hey, it's Antonio from PCA, and we're excited that we've begun tackling the first part of starting to identify some core values that now we can build upon. But enough talk, now it's time to put some action behind it. So at this point, the goal is to select some descriptors or identifiers within a particular core value that we can start to actualize. We can look at a SMART goal and compose a SMART goal around and we can bring these descriptors to life. So let's look at an example. An example would be, let's say trust is a core value that you've identified for your team. And within trust, once you start to unpack that, you think about supporting one another and counting on one another and kind of building a rapport. And so when you look at that, you say, well, well how do we actualize that? And so if you're intentional about a SMART goal, one could be that I wanna spend at least 30 to 45 minutes with one team member each week for the next two months, right? I'll repeat that. I wanna spend 30 to 45 minutes with at least one team member each week for the next two months. And so when you look at the SMART goal acronym, that's something that's very specific. It's something that's measurable, it's attainable, realistic, and most importantly, we bound it with time. That two months is something that we can look back and say, did we accomplish the goal or did we miss our mark? And if we missed our mark, why? So use that as an example in a backdrop, and now it's your turn to use the core value action plan that's been provided and record your action plan, right? And then be in position to share it with a colleague or a PCA coach here in one of our upcoming sessions. Listen, we look forward to hearing what you put down. We look forward to seeing you soon. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We'll talk soon.